uh, we have enough on right now, we can get talking about this. I want to make something clear. What I'm going to say, I, I speak for myself. This is my solely my opinion. This isn't me telling you, oh, this is what's going on. I don't want to speculate. I don't want to make stuff up. This isn't done for ratings. This is just to get information out there. I'm going to state the facts that I know, uh, not based on the articles you guys may have read from Halim at uh, Watch the Legend Lifestyle, not based on a lot of the rumors that are going on within the dealer community. Number one, a lot of the phone calls were coming from dealers. A lot of dealers that were hating on Anthony and Marco prior and are hating on them even more right now because what had, what had taken place obviously allows them to uh, hate even further. It's no secret that some of the stuff that Anthony's done in a couple of years, especially in the YouTube space, specifically in the watch world, has been very avant-garde, very outside the box, and very shocking at times. Uh, you guys have seen uh, a video of mine where Anthony purchased a watch that was over $100,000 in MBNF at a trade show, on which I gave him 30-day terms. Monday morning at 9 a.m., I had a wire in my account. This is the day that Anthony disappeared. <clears throat> I had a wire in my account for over $100,000 that was due that day. If you ask me, if somebody plans on running and packing up shop and leaving, why would you send out a wire over 100,000 the day that you disappear? Now, for somebody that plans on running in this business, I've been doing this for 20 years and I've seen guys run up schemes and run away. Uh, you don't shut down Instagram accounts. There's no point to that. You don't make every single one of your employees unavailable because it's not like you're gonna pick up yourself, the watches, and then seven kids that work for you and run away with them. None of them are available. Their Instagram accounts are shut down. Their phone numbers are up, but they won't take calls. This is an Anthony stunt. Call it a That's public a stunt, call it a marketing stunt, call it whatever you want. But this is Anthony Boone's, again, something avant-garde, out of the box, making everybody worried, but yet it doesn't add up. And the last thing that doesn't add up, and again, this is all facts, out of every single dealer that I spoke with, and I spoke to a gazillion dealers over the last two days, not a single one of them said, hey, he fucking owes me money. Not a single private client that I spoke with told me, hey, <clears throat> he owes me money. So what that means is something doesn't add up, and it leads me to believe that this is going to be something that Anthony has just pulled uh, and... I personally can't wait to find out what it is. Anthony did a hublot. <laughs> Anthony did a hublot. <laughs> 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 so and he so done it hard. You guys. Now look, as far as my opinion as to what he's pulling, I can't give you an opinion of what he's pulled because we don't know what he pulled yet. And, and I tell you this from the bottom of my heart, we have zero idea what's going on. But all I'm going to tell you guys is that I'm going to stand by what I said on Monday on my Facebook group, and I'm going to double up on Anthony and say, look, this is something big that he is pulling off. And at the same token, tell everybody not to pay. You know, this is not damage control. This is just more or less our opinions. But I think it's very important for our viewers and our clients to know that, in a sense, this is a little bit of damage control because we're all friends. We're all basically guilty by affiliation. So I think it's important to know that None of us have anything to do with the stunt that they pulled. I truly believe that this is some type of marketing, whatever you want to call it. And I'm excited to see what, what the light is at the end of the tunnel. Look, I don't even really know what it is. If it's a, if it's a rebranding tactic, um, that's the route that they chose to, took, to take. You know, we, we do root for them. I'm hoping that it is, a, I'm hoping that it is a, some type of a rebranding, even though it's a very awkward one, in my personal opinion. But um, awkward understatement. Yeah. But uh, at the end of the day, look, I've been doing this for 10 years. I put my life into this and my whole reputation behind it. And, um, you know, the last thing that I would ever want to give is even as a joke and impression that I'm not here tomorrow morning to be here to answer anybody's questions. So um, since we don't really know what's going on, because it could be anything we don't know yet. Um, I just want to sit back and really hope for the best because you know, I want it to be something good and not definitely not something negative. I don't feel that he's a runner in any way, shape, or form. Oh. These are our guys. <laughs> so now, this video shows that these guys are biased. People saying in the comments that we backed them, get the f We're absolutely not backing anyone. If he stole a penny of a penny of anyone, I will start a manhunt, and I will do, I will kill him myself. It's like, you see what I mean? This is bunkers.
but yeah, it's not likely that. it's definitely not likely and um that's that's all i have to say because I mean, I is this, is this the part where I, where I put on a thick russian accent said anthony would come yes and... no no like i mean this, this you can, you can, we're you trying we're, come on, yeah. we're trying to make the watch world and like oh I, oh shit. what <laughs> <laughs> no way <laughs> what cold can you read that but yeah, I mean, but, look, obviously he's around. <laughs> is I don't know what's is he going calling? On. I think he, I think he butt dialed me by accident. I think that was his way letting me know that he's watching. First of all, we all made it pretty clear that we're all friends, that we all do business with each other. And I'm not the guy that's going to all of a sudden jump off ship and say I have nothing to do with him. I've done business with Anthony since we got together the last four or five months to the tune of a million dollars. And the business has gone well. Right? Roman, did, did Anthony just call you? What's the story? Yeah, he just called me. I had a missed call. I called back. He didn't pick up. I think he. I think that was his way of letting me know that he's around. I feel like. Yeah, no, f fair f play, and <laughs> I kind of want to know what the f is going on. To be honest, yeah, right? <laughs> I kind of want to know what the f is going on. I'm funny, gonna f call him. Think like. about think about the power of the internet. Like think about think about you know how powerful the internet. Look at the look at the craze that happened in the last 24 hours within the watch community instantaneously all the comments are like boycott ttg <laughs> okay yeah as of right now they probably will yeah I mean, so we haven't we haven't seen our message yet it's, it's easy like to, it's easy it, to say that so you know what the message is it's like this I mean, it's, it's like imagine we're dating the social media right that's like our social media is our girlfriend we pissed her off big time what happens when we come with a big bouquet of roses with a strong message yes uh, we disrupted an industry we disrupted an industry but guys like like some people said but this all is guys that is this big are not just taking off you're worried about consignment you need to be worried about consignment